welcome to no one's we're taking another glance at revive and prosper they are they're gonna release mars soon mars it's probably gonna be just as real and crazy if you know if you think about it like in real life you know going to the going to mars <laughs> gonna have some dude go like crazy with space cabin fever because space cabin fever is like 10 times more effective than like regular fever where you at people oh yeah if you want to find your people just double click them there they are found you i found you all up in your butt harvest consume and destroy like every living thing does All right, now we gotta be like super smart about all this. Because everything has a place, it's all interlinked. Like you think you can leave something alone, you're wrong. You'll die. It's kind of like Age of Empires without like, you know, someone trying to stamp you in the butt the whole time. But I, I, I do like the more advanced golems they put in here. I've put a lot of farm time in trying to learn this game so I can explain it. Yeah, because I feel like when I took a glance at this game initially and I tried to explain some of the things, they, you know, didn't quite land. Because you don't exactly have to build up like wood storage and other things. You could literally just put this plank thing up and you can just start trying to like advance stuff, you know, get the workshop up. No, yep, yeah, see, there they go. I recommend building up this this little shed thing because it, it automatically gives all the beds you'll ever need for them. So yeah, that's done. Done deal. Boom. Everybody wins. And you can keep that there until like way late game and then build them like a better shed so they actually maintain their rest and they don't just wake up tired. <laughs> I figured that out the hard way but I do hope whenever it becomes full and you can go to like different planets and stuff it'd be nice if you could like you know you spawn in like it says it can do 20 golems you spawn in like 20 golems and you just go to war with like aliens or something and you gotta like build up your own little turrets and defenses in your land or whatever so much water. Man, fish. You need vegetables and fish. If you don't have both, one of them or two of them are gonna get pissed off. Now I think all it's gonna take is just planks anyway, so boom, there that's a win. Like, you just want to kind of throttle your advancement. So don't, you know, once the basics, like a couple of water, some fish, and then most of the sandbox maps, anyway, don't give you everything you need. They really don't. Like, this one doesn't have a meteor crash. I played for, like, it was, what was it? I don't know how long trying to figure out what this game is, and I never had a meteor crash, which I didn't even know then is essential. Because that's, like, your only way of getting platinum. So when you're, when you're picking out your maps, just be prepared to have to, like, live without something. <laughs> like, there was even one where I picked and it didn't even have limestone. Uh, and you need limestone to make your steel. No matter what you do, there, there is no loophole around that one. But you can make your own maps here, too. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. Once I figured that out. I tried to make my own map so I could have everything that I would need and, you know, have a ton of fun doing it. But I, I couldn't sort that out at all. So I was like, well, I'll just go find a sandbox I can survive. <laughs> it's working so far. There we go. Look at that. See, they're building wooden mechanisms. They won't need to build that or the belt for now. We'll just stick wood mechanisms for now. Gotta be smart because, you know, 
not good to be dumb. <laughs> Okay, so now we gotta start trying to think about how to get, what is it, like, what's it gonna take to get you? Okay, so we need to get, like, copper going. Oh, there's copper, look at that. See, they gave me some drills. It, most of them will try to give you something. They will try to be nice. I'll give them that credit. Alright, hang on, I need, now I do need some storage for this stuff, here we go. Uh, what? Got all the machine over here. Get out of there. You don't need to be there. Build another golem machine over here. I was gonna do that eventually. Like each golem has their own boost, by the way. I I just prefer the the sand golems. The soil golems, you know. Mainly because they they're a little bit faster than the stone ones. And I'm uh, sure their life is maybe half as long, but you know, you, they can run around twice as fast, then, yeah, I'll take that. So we're gonna dig our way up to there, we're gonna make that happen. Hurry up, guys. It's like right there. Right there, right there. There, there. Done, done. Okay, now we're getting the wood for the golems, so this will go by faster, faster. Get the golems! Like, a lot of this stuff's gonna get, like, rearranged anyway. You have to, like, break down stuff to get resources back so you can constrict your automation lines better. But yeah, see, this is pretty much all you're going to need for a, a little while until they're done getting all the way up to there. And to build those, if you're on a sandbox map that's like, you know, a huge anus, you need iron. So, but you can dig up iron manually. You know, where is it? Right there. Yeah, and you can smelt it down in a furnace. This thingy, the small furnace. So you won't have to be all, Bleh, I can't get there because I need iron. It'll work. You just dig it up, stick it in there, everybody wins. You could even build like a little storage thing eventually once you get it first smelted down and stuff like that. It'll become even easier. I just suggest going for the gigantic drill thing first. Try and get to that and just dig up and simplify things. <laughs> There we go, I got y'all stairs accessible now. Be happy. And build the rest of the golems. Gave y'all so much water and so much fish. And they were nice enough to give us food that I have not told y'all to harvest yet. And that is right, I need to tell you to. Otherwise you'll just walk up and be like, look so pretty. It's too bad I'm starving to death or I would actually enjoy this. Okay, cabbage, cabbage seed, carrot, carrot seed. Or is that onion? That's onion. That's carrot. Okay, so carrot, carrot seed. Once they're done building that, I'll label that. And then onion, I suppose. But I would like to get to these, so I'm going to try and build a bridge over. I think we can do that. Come on, people. Be people now. There we go. Guess they'll have to harvest and replant these over here. 
Cabbage seed. And you have to do this kind of quick, otherwise they'll just start throwing random stuff in there. And they'll be like, look, boss, I helped. And you have to be all like, yes, if only you helped right. They're like one of those people that like goes off and grabs gasoline and they're like, I'll put out the fire, boss. And they throw it on themselves and run in. Like you just, it's, it's so much worse than you think. You know? <laughs> No, don't put the wood in there. See, I'm not even... No, stop! Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Dang it. Ugh. Whatever. Okay, I'll just try to save this one. Come on. Onion. And then... Ah, I did save it. Ha ah, ha ha ha. There we go. Golems are best for digging. Almost every time. You can bet all the, the sand golems are best for digging. The other golems, well, they get better at other stuff too. They're still good at digging. Oh look, they even gave us like little barrels and coal. How nice and lovely of them. Okay, we got that worked out. Let's get this to be done. What are what are these? Coffee beans. Okay, so let's get the coffee saved over here. But see, everything starts out slow in this game. It, it, it's not too bad, but I mean, I would like to be a little faster. Or maybe more golems. Yeah, harvest up all the seeds and put them in the thing. I also have corn. Oops. Okay, cool. And let's go harvest these up before they disappear, because that will happen. Hey, they even gave a water wheel. Yeah. See, they're nice. They try to be nice. It's it's the game that tries to lightning smite you all the time. There you go. Okay, now let's get ourselves over to the other side and we'll build a walkway up to that. And then we can start talking about how things are supposed to be moving in this game. Here we go, that's a good point. Boom. See, Mr. Goto does not like building, so he'll actually craft slower. 
He's like, I'm lazy. Don't make me do it. I don't want to do it. See, he likes planting though. So, you know, he can be in charge of that stuff. We're going to keep it real simple with this first one. You can see it. This thing. Oh, get this tree out of my way. It's a priority. I forgot who likes to cut trees. Not you. Is it you? No. Once you get it memorized, then you're like, oh, okay, you. Cutting down. Yes. Okay. So. Ah, the guy who doesn't like chopping got to it, so it's the, the foxy, this foxy, or whatever. There it is. You get over there. <laughs> Alright, I'm also going to need some windmills up here. How much is it again to run you guys? 150. What is wrong with y'all? Why? Did, why? Come on, folks. Let's -a go. Because you can't overwhelm them with tasks either. Otherwise, it just everything gets stuck, and what you originally wanted done quickly is going to be done last. And even though it says like this individual is assigned to it or something like that, that doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means that they're bringing an item to it to help construct it more. Everybody's chilling. So I guess I can too for a little while. Just going to wait it out. Waiting. Oh, cool. They fixed up the trains. Those caught fire earlier because the lightning is just complete garbage in this game. It'll strike anything and everything outside of your protection range. And I, I'm not going to go covering the whole map in those. This It costs three copper to build one of these things. I'm not going to go spending all my time trying to get that all done. But for like the basics to even get started up, you got to like m just kind of grind through it and that's where the most of that time consumption comes in that's where i would like to see the fast forward just because that's that's where most of my time trying to get like this mini utopia built up which if you're gonna go coal you're gonna want to have like three kilns per thing minimum i have one two three four five six seven starting you know, to get some traction finally but I had the two started off with three had them build in you want your lines stuck just to make this work and then add in more as you get the last one added in it is redonkulously hard to keep it all intact but I mean it's possible like I'm just now getting my water to finally last through the heat bursts I don't even know if it's going to do it this time around. We'll have to check that out. I got from the terrible, terrible mud golems to these plastic ones. And they are just as fast as people. And if you can keep them mushed in up into this biopress thing, they'll stay alive. And their bonuses are awesome. Like, look at that. Times five in construction, cutting down, planting, and harvesting, and carrying. That is intense. But the whole point of building this whole utopia style thing is to get to space. But you gotta be very specific. Like I have alcohol and biomass for one chemical plant, another one for plastics from polymers. I got one this petroleum refinery, which is amazing. You can get all sorts of crazy stuff. But it's it's early access, so like you you can you can build up to like almost space travel which is supposed to be coming out this month oh yeah check out this gigantic thing there's like a difference in your energy you guys know the, the electric and torque so this if you have a waterfall is amazing 1800 torque just boom right there for you it's like the water wheel on steroids but the network we have going is like massively overproducing i think right now yeah we got an extra 2k torque and like Oh, wow, we're breaking even right now. Wow, that's good to know. 
So this is giving out the charge because we're we're in a lull. Yeah, that's why I got battery arrays. Battery arrays are like little balancers for you. That's pretty cool stuff. Like if you, everything just goes dark, like you get a blackout, you know, the windmills explode just because. You know, if you have enough battery arrays, you can survive for a little bit. And you're going to have to keep your converters, you know, in check, too. Like, let's see here. I have two, four, six, eight, eight thousand electricity being converted into torque there. And, like, another four thousand converted in, like, this little mini power station I have right here. And you'll survive. While you try to slowly work past these... Oh man, they were—they are not nice. I don't like them. I pref much, much prefer this. It's called the electric arc furnace, and you can—you just get all your your stuff right there. And the way you can get that to be like golden, the whole of it all, is you get this one—the advanced sedimentation machine, not this wimpy, wimpy, wimpy primitive sedimentation machine. I mean, they do the the same thing essentially. But that one is just way faster. I mean, it's kind of paused right now because of the storage. I haven't... Okay, I'm going to do a bad here. Uh, it's okay. Don't cry, everyone. Why are you paused? Let's go back. Let me get that iron going. Heat burst! Alright, here we go. Here we go. Are we going to survive? Do we live or do we die? Let's find out. Oh, I forgot to fill this one. We're dead. We died. We tried, but we're dead. Maybe I can get him to quickly fix it. And we'll be fine. Oh, it's because it's right over it. That's that's what's going on. Okay, now that, that makes total sense. As to why that is happening. No, 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 stop! Oh, you suck. That was not supposed to go there. See what I mean? They are fast. Like, they free up everybody's time to where they could just get any task or need done pretty quick. But they are some late game people telling you, you gotta work hard for them. And then you will turn into a T for time to go. Everything seems to be in order though. Nothing has been suddenly lit ablaze yet. Like it'll hit just like one tree outside of the safety net. And that'll just carry on into your like town and destroy you. Just eat your soul basically. Get over there. I think we did it though. I think we finally figured out how to survive. Why is that like that over there? Why are you all... Oh boy. I need like another sprinkler just randomly out there. I don't know if I can spare the water pressure. Yeah, it's not looking like it. <laughs> Jeez. And now you're not going to strike because I have a fire hydrant thing next to all my sprinklers. That's right. All right. I didn't put one there though. Wait, don't strike over there. Hang on. Give me a second. Okay. So nobody's dying of thirst. But there are some thirsty people. I only have like one drinking hole, by the way, for like this whole entire city's worth of stuff. There is just one watering hole. That's all they get because there's only 12 of them. Maybe if I had some more people, maybe I wouldn't want the fast forward. If I had more golems, I probably wouldn't want the fast forward. There is a way to get rid of these trees down here. It is, it's a little, a little, a little bit, a little bit of pain in the ass, but you can do it. I'll show you. Here we go. Let's do it. Dig the stairs. And then he'll get those three. Then you gotta dig another stairs, have him dig that one. And Get the platform, go across, get that one, then dig stairs there, and you get those, and then you win. It's it's smart moves. All right. There's my button. There's my button. 
Come on, guys, we can do this. We have to have all our liquid containers in peak condition for some reason. Well, I mean, it's primarily to keep our whole town alive. You know, they have to be kept alive. If they're not, then, you know, you, you suck at the game and you die. So, like, that's another goal. You have to keep everybody alive. I have gotten close to death way too many times. Go away, Wood. Like, my... Th this guy right here, Frederico, he likes to die. That's, like, his favorite thing. He's like, oh, I should eat to live? I'm gonna go dig soil. And then he does. Sorry, everybody, I got focused real quick. It takes a lot of brain power to get this whole thing working. But yeah, it looks like I did it. I flawlessly survived a heat wave. Yeah. Take that. Because it is, like, super hard in the beginning to survive a heat wave. Especially if you got, like, a bunch of lush forests. So let's say goodbye to that. If you, you know, <laughs> if you don't have any sprinklers up. Okay, I guess we're good. I guess the electricity got absorbed in by my lightning rods. Which, by the way, are everywhere. They are everywhere. All over this dang map. I have, like, I think at least 40% of this map covered with those electric rods. And they're also wired in to my city. But as you can see, 70% of the map just exploded in my face. Something's on fire. I just feel it. What is it, though? So why are you thirsty and carrying iron? Stop it! Yeah, did you see how fast that guy was? That was super fast because if you like, he's just he loves doing that. That's like his. Sh Maybe stuff is on fire, and it's just my hydrants like putting it out like immediately. Right, I still haven't built one over here. I am like in serious danger. Hang on. Ah, take my water cannon up your weight. No, hold on. Never mind. Oh, but I am proud of this. I have like a six-story high conveyor belt warehouse section. That's plastic, cables, polymers, uh, sulfur, something else that went down there. But all of that was building in, that would build the cables, that would build the circuit board, that I could get the battery built just so I can get the circuit board or the control unit to get the high-tech all. Stop it, lightning! And there are, like, almost no redundancies. Like, every system has its own punch-out system where it finishes, and it's needed to make other things work. But they all don't have to do anything. They just come and help out the trains with the harvesting, which they don't even need it. Like, everything's full. <laughs> even with everything getting tossed into the biopress. Oh, uh, you're paused. Why are you paused? Biomass. There we go. Boom! There we go. We are gonna go ahead and leave it there for now, guys. So don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to hit the subscribe, join, and bell button. And we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, and be sure to check out all our merch down below, guys. It's right there in the description. If you click the description open, it'll pull up all our equipment. Everything we're using, you can get it yourself. That's right. It's awesome stuff down there, and it helps us out too. So, you know, win-win for everybody. We'll catch you in the next one.